Right before we get into this video, if you want to support me or communicate with me, please go follow my Twitter and join my Discord server. You can find both links in the description. If you would like to support me in Fortnite, feel free to use code LICKBTW in the Fortnite item shop. Thanks so much, I hope you enjoy the video. You know that you wrong, and I was right. You burn my heart right out of my chest, baby, you know that it's over. Right before we get into the tutorial, guys, I just want to give a huge shout out to Power Stone. Um, he's the original creator of a similar method to this, but I'm going to show you guys a little bit different. Of course, I, I did ask him on Discord if I could make a tutorial on the similar effect, and he said, sure, as long as you give him credit. So I'm giving him credit where credit is due. You can find his link in the description. He's an amazing Alive Motion um, designer as well as video editor. He's insane. So I highly recommend you guys to go check him out in the description down below. So now let's get straight into the, into the Siphon Glow tutorial. Obviously guys, I'm here in my favorite editing app on mobile, Alight Motion. In my opinion, it is the best as it is, I think, the most similar to PC. I know a lot of you guys think it's really confusing, but keep in mind, all my tutorials are completely step-by-step -step and I guide you guys through it. So please keep that in mind and you guys can make these effects for yourself and then add it into Video Leap if you guys want. It's all up to you guys. So obviously in this app, I'm simply going to press the green plus and add make a new project with 4K by 60 FPS, obviously. Now we're going to press the green plus at the bottom right image and video, and add in your clip that you're going to use. I'm going to add mine in really quick. And of course, this is also the same clip that I used for my last tutorial for Magic Bullet Looks. It's just a simple kill and also has velocity on, just like this. So very simple velocity. If you guys don't know how to do that, of course, link in the description for a velocity tutorial made by me. Really simple and really quick, and you guys can come back to this video when you guys have done that. And if you guys do have your velocity ready, Obviously, just like all the other tutorials, first thing we're going to do is going to split the split the clip on the impact or where the red shock and putts come out. So I'm going to press the middle split button, and now we have these two halves to work with, and we're going to mainly focus on the second half as it is an impact effect. So we're going to press this duplicate button and then press duplicate layer, and now we have these two sections, and we're only going to be working on the first one. So in order to make it have like a siphon like glow, so it's mainly around different areas and not just the whole screen. We're gonna press blending and opacity, lighten, and then color dodge. This is very important if you guys wanna have a good glow, not just like a different screen color. So this is very really important, make sure you guys do this. So we're only gonna be adding three effects onto this top layer, and it's gonna be inner blur, hot color, and exposure gamma. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the right settings to use for that, and I'll show you guys now. So obviously, like I just said, the first one we're gonna use is gonna be inner blur. And in the purpose of inner blur is going to be to change the amount of glow there's going to be. So I like turning this setting up to 6, to max. And then if you guys look here, the higher you make the blur, the more of a larger glow it is. If you make it smaller, the glow isn't as apparent. So just keep in like the middle. Of course, you don't want it to be too bright. Whatever. This, is going to be, this setting is going to vary between every clip. So you want it to be not too bright, but still bright enough that it's still a glow. So I'm going to keep around 0.15 for this. Of course, guys, this setting is completely personal preference. You guys have to, have to experiment for yourself. Next, I'm going to add exposure gamma. So I'm going to type in exposure, and it should be the first option to pop up. So I'm going to simply click on it now and add standard settings. And guys, this one is even more variable than the first one. This one is almost completely different around every clip. So you guys are just going to have to mess around with these settings. I'll show you guys how to do that. So obviously, exposure just raises it same as blur, except that makes it almost the brightest thing possible so again just lower it to something that you like so i just want to make it a little bit brighter so something like that and then for gamma it pretty much does the same thing as you guys see if when you move it to the right the screen just gets brighter move it to the left it gets less bright so i just think this looks nice it's up to you guys though and i would recommend not touching offset as it just makes the screen way too bright and way too dark now guys the most important effect by far is going to be hot color so I'm going to just go to the search bar and type in hot, and it should be the first option to come up here. Add standard settings, of course, and of course, this is where you get to choose what color glow you want. Most people tend to go with like a bluish glow or a pinkish glow or even a reddish glow. Any of those will work, but it's obviously personal preference. I'm going to go with a pink glow in this tutorial because it's the most commonly used, and I think. So just move over that thing in color to over to pink, and then go to tint and move the same circle over to pink around the same area. So here's what mine looks like now, guys. And a really, really clean glow. And obviously, if you guys think it's too bright, you guys can play with exposure gamma and as well as inner blur a little bit more. It's all personal preference and all that good stuff. 
So I'm gonna show you guys how to fade it in and out or just out because it, it's an impact effect so it should happen instantly. If you guys look at, look at it now, you guys can tell that the glow just stays there for the entire duration of the clip, which, which is ideally not what we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the top half and the, this is the whole reason we actually add onto the top half besides having color dodge is to have it fade out really easily. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna find around, this is all actually, I can't really say at what point the gun pulls out because everyone's velocity is different. So I'm just going to go a few frames back to where you think it should stop, add a keyframe here, and then go a little bit further back, add a keyframe here, and then simply drag the slider down to zero, and you guys will see that the glow completely disappears. Now if I just drag the slider over it, the glow appears on impact where the frames come out, or the shock lights come out, and it slowly decreases back to normal color. And yeah, that's pretty much the, the, my entire tutorial on how to make a good siphon glow. Of course, guys, keep in mind, if you do want to change the color of the glow, simply go into effects, hot color, and then play with these color wheels. Both of them make sure you do it to the same color. And you guys can have whatever color glow you guys want. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Again, huge shout out to Power Stone. I'll put his link in the description. He made a similar tutorial on this, and I decided I would make a similar tutorial. But of course, I did ask him, uh, ask him if I was allowed to do that first. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on a glow. It's a really simple effect and a lot of people have been asking for it. So I'm really glad to be able to bring out a tutorial for this. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel, as well as drop a comment. It all really helps me out and only take you guys a few seconds. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope to see you guys in future tutorials. See you guys later. You know that you are.